Hello everyone, welcome back to the Great Edge Workshop. Something very different for you today. Uh, uh, it's, it's an electrical video and I'm wearing a chest mounted camera. I've got Go my GoPro uh, mounted to my chest today. So you're gonna have my point of view. Uh, and I'm gonna take you through the full protocol for uh, testing, pat inspection, uh, ho however you wanna call it, of um, a fixed a fixed appliance. A, a few videos ago, I, I made the case that fixed appliances like hand dryers, etc., uh, land somewhere in the gray area between EICR electrical inspections and the portable appliance in inspections. Uh, partly because of nomenclature, uh, what we what we now call uh, in service inspection and testing of electrical equipment uh, used to be called pat testing which is portable appliance testing and so a hand dryer which is bolted to a wall people say well that's not that's not portable so that's not part of my job but then the uh, electricians that were doing the the fixed wiring ass assessment would test up to the isolator and no one is looking at the 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 the, the, the hand dryer itself um, so I'm going to take you through the the process. I think it's something that all portable appliance inspectors ought to be able to, to deal with. So we're going to go through the whole thing start to finish because to the best of my ability, I haven't found any videos that, that cover the whole process. So uh, this is a test rig. Uh, it's near, I, I say the full process, it's, it's nearly the full process because it's it's not actually wired up. So we've got some cable here to simulate the, the connection, a uh, breaker, which clearly isn't mounted to, to anything. The, the fuse connection unit. And then on the back side of this, which I'll show you a little bit later, is where the hand dryer is. Um, so first things first, when you're doing this this sort of testing is you need to make sure that you've safely isolated the switch fuse unit that is, is feeding the appliance that you're testing. So uh, go ahead to the circuit board, find the relevant breaker, switch it off. And I cannot stress this enough. Uh, do not underestimate the importance of this. Lock that breaker off. And uh, by that, I mean, of course, fix the fix the, the locking key onto the onto the breaker itself and what that means is that it, it can't be toggled on but I would go one step further and make sure that you physically um, lock the lock, put a put a padlock through the breaker so that it can't be switched on and that's particularly true if we are let's see, talking about a hand dryer or some other fixed fixed appliance that is on a, a socket circuit because if you're in a oh, padlock is there we go um, if that fixed appliance is on for example a socket circuit and somebody else in the building let's say you're testing a huge office building somebody uh, realizes that the, the power has gone out on a, on a circuit that they need they head to the circuit breaker go oh it's off I'll just switch it on so um, always want to lock it off and put a padlock on keep the key in your pocket so that nobody can energize the circuit while you've got your hands in it. Now here, obviously this is this is not in actual, uh, in use and just to, to save you having to watch the back of my hands while I uns unscrew a, a couple of screws, I've already pre-loosened this off, but um, here we have the, sw the switch fuse unit for the, for the hand dryer and I'm gonna pull that down now uh, by either tracing the cables or just by reading what it says on the uh, on the socket i know which ones belong to the load and which ones belong to the supply but before i do anything uh, i'm going to test for safe isolation okay safe isolation process means with my with my voltage tester i'm going to check with it with a proving unit and make sure that it it works yes okay then i'm going to come back here and i'm going to check between the uh ground in the US or CPC or in the in UK, ground and neutral, ground and live, and then onto neutral, onto live, off live, off neutral. There we go. So now I know that the um, voltage indicator is indicating that everything is, is safely isolated. I need to prove that it's still working, that nothing's gone wrong in the testing. Yes, it has. Yes, it is still working. Bingo. So safe isolation complete. We know that the circuit is, um, we, we know that the, this is electrically safe. There's no energy to here. Uh, the, the circuit is locked off so nobody can accidentally energize it. And now we can get underway with our testing. So um, I don't know whether the camera's gonna pick this up, but the two outer connections are for the, the, the load. So the um, hand dryer in this case, so I'm just gonna bring these cables 
loose and also the CPC or ground, depending on where you're watching from. Get this loosened off. All right, so there's my three wires loosened off. Now, the key to unlocking the whole testing of fixed equipment is uh, to make yourself something like this. Uh, so I've got Vagos, Wagos, however you want to call them, uh, attached to the earth neutral and line and fitted to a short bit of cable with a plug on it. Now, uh, obviously you want to make make sure this remains in, in, in control as of yourself as the, as the electrical inspector because it's, it's dangerous in the wrong hands, but I have full confidence in patent inspectors uh, to raise proper, raise proper awareness of this. They'd probably, if someone found this, uh, if a patent inspector found this as part of their routine inspection, they'd probably want to evacuate the whole building. Um, but anyway, uh, so with this very simple device, I can simply make connections to the, the corresponding uh, cables. So live to live, neutral to neutral, and CPC to CPC. There we go. Check that they're snugly in there. And now things are starting to look much more familiar for pat testers because I've got my hand dryer on a plug top. I'll swing you around to this side now. So here's here's the hand dryer rig uh, mount, mounted onto a board. Um, my C-word pat tester. I'm going to switch it on. I can plug in my hand dryer, find an earth point. I don't know whether uh, the, the camera is going to pick this up, but there's metal screws there. And then pressing the class one test button. And we are away. Oh, <laughs> I'm uh, trying to do this with too many hands. Not got the good. Um, I'm going to abort this one and go again. All right, here we go. So try one more time. There we are, satisfactory earth, insulation resistance, and this is a motion activated hand dryer, so I can do the leakage test just by physically having my hand where, where it is. Uh, and there we have it, a pass. Okay, um, so hopefully this helps, uh, useful to somebody. It's not a very complex, not a very complex device that I've assembled. This um, this uh, plug lead connected with these with these Wagos, but you can pack that with you. Very portable, uh, no pun intended, um, and makes it easy to uh, test fixed fixed equipment uh, in a in a quick and safe way. Okay. Uh, and just for completeness, I'm going to loop back to this lock off because it's a very important piece of the puzzle. Please don't, under, don't underestimate it. Unless you're the only one in the building, um, don't take a chance that somebody's going to come along and say, why are the lights tripped or why are the, why are the sockets tripped uh, and flip that back on while you've got your hands in there. Uh, very dangerous. But anyway, I uh, hope this helps some of you. Uh, if you've made it this far, thanks for tuning in. If you've enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up and or subscribe for more content uh, and see you again soon. Bye for now.